Toyota has proven that they believe in hydrogen as a fuel source. You see, Toyota firmly believes it is too early to focus on one single zero emission solution and therefore they are developing hydrogen fuel cell technology and hydrogen combustion technology alongside battery electric technology. Now today we will focus on their hydrogen internal combustion technology. Toyota has been hard at work testing the hydrogen internal combustion engine in race cars for many months now, but now they have started testing it in a road going car. You see, previously we saw the three cylinder turbo engine that runs on pure hydrogen in the Yaris H2 rally concept car that they actually took on a course and then they also tested the engine at a few endurance races in which the engine powered a Corolla GR Sport. Well, now they have unveiled the Corolla Cross H2 concept. The car is powered by the same 3 cylinder turbo hydrogen internal combustion engine that powered both of the other prototypes. And for those of you that didn't know, this 1.6 is the same engine that powered the GR Yaris, just converted to run on hydrogen instead of gasoline. Now like I said, Toyota has been hard at work with hydrogen and in that time they have made some advancements. Toyota says that they have increased hydrogen combustion power by 24%, taking it to power levels similar to comparable gasoline engines, which is great news. Most people are worried that hydrogen internal combustion engine powered vehicles will be underpowered. But this, alongside with the 2 liter that AVL Racetech is building, shows that you can make similar power with hydrogen. Now, the good news doesn't stop there. Range is also up by 30% and refueling takes just a minute and a half, which is quite a lot faster than recharging your vehicle. Now, with this Corolla Cross, they took the 1600 3 cylinder and everything they learned from using it in the racing scene and combined that with what they already know with their fuel cell driven Mirai. The result, Toyota was able to create the Corolla Cross H2 hydrogen prototype that can transport 5 passengers and their luggage. Now, currently, we don't know the exact range and power figures since they are still currently busy with real world testing, with winter testing coming soon in northern Japan. Now, like I said earlier, Toyota isn't the only company that is currently working on this technology. AVL Racetech are building a 400 horsepower 2 liter 4 cylinder, also powered by hydrogen. Kawasaki is building a 1000cc supercharged bike that will utilize this technology. Cummins is working on it and the list goes on and on. There is no shortage to development, we just need to give them some time. Now, I always get comments saying that electric is the way forward and electric isn't horribly bad. The production of the batteries are, but in the long run, I do see the benefits. But here is the thing, burning hydrogen only releases its NOx, which diesels also release, and most of it can be caught using catalytic converters. Using hydrogen also means you can skip over the expensive materials such as lithium and nickel, and the environment damaging process that goes along with mining and producing batteries. And the biggest thing in my opinion, we have 1.4 billion cars on our planet, having to rebuild every single car on the road will not only be bad for the planet, but it will also be impossible. We don't have enough rare resources on our planet for a worldwide conversion to batteries. So I'm in the same camp as Toyota. We need to develop each of our options and not keep all of our eggs in one basket. Now there's still a long way to go before this is a viable road technology for public use. Toyota believes that they are about 40% of the way to creating a viable purchasable solution in the way of hydrogen internal combustion. But in the last three years, the development of this technology has skyrocketed and we have developed cleaner and cheaper ways to produce it. We have created better storage solutions and even the engines themselves have gotten tons better. But let me know down below what you think of this technology and what you think of this new Corolla H2 concept. I think it's freaking cool and I'm really excited to see where this goes. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car related, this is the place to be. I've got many more things on cars, so if you like this video, you like my other stuff, just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one.